This morning, we're going to look at this question. What price are you willing to pay? In today's text at Mark 10, 29 and 30, Jesus made it clear that when a person chooses to follow him, he or she might have to give up some things. Are valuable things. Including family relationships at times. What are the valuable things with which we can honor Jehovah? What first might come to mind are our material possessions, our finances. Well, that is true. As we know, this sometimes happens when a person accepts the truth and then his or her family rejects the message and perhaps even him or her as a result. When this happens, as painful as it is, a sincere person will choose to stand firmly on Jehovah's side. What the f In fact, we'll give up whatever we must in order to serve him faithfully, true? No. So what have you paid? It's good for us to consider what we're willing to do for Jehovah and his son. They will bless us many times over if we remain committed to following Jesus' example. And that's uh, the point of today's text. The fact is that many of our brothers and sisters continue to serve Jehovah faithfully despite having only a few family members or perhaps no family members serving Jehovah along with them. At the same time, others may have generations of relatives who have served God. And we rejoice with them because they too are serving Jehovah faithfully. So sad. The fact is that circumstances often affect what a person may have to leave behind or give up at times. Jesus certainly knew that would be the case, and that's why he said what he did. But no matter what we must endure, Jehovah and his son will prove true to the promise there in Mark chapter 10. It guarantees a 100-fold blessing for those who are loyal and everlasting life. What should that promise move us to do? It's not a damn thing. Yeah. We should be moved to continue sacrificing whatever is needed in order to continue doing God's will. That should be our prime motivation. We're moved by faith and love to serve Jehovah because he's so kind and he's so generous. And we remember that he too has sacrificed much for us. Right. It's what we give and what we're willing to give up in order to be loyal that matters to this organization. To Jehovah. What we give and what we give up says a lot about who we really are. So while what each of us may have to give or give up at times will vary, Jehovah will kindly give us more in return than we can ever imagine. True or false? Again, Jesus said at Mark 10:30, 100 times more, so to speak.